How are you doing? This is a review of the Air Jordan 31 Shattered Backboard. I got these in on Thursday evening. This is Saturday morning. I have um, had a look at them already. The official colourway, as you can see, is black, black starfish. The new 31 Brandon and the Air Jordan Wings paper. And you've got the old Nike on the inside of the top of the box to show that it's a throwback to the Air Jordan 1 box. Here's the shoe. Um, it's very orange, like the original Shattered Backboard that came out a couple of years ago. Um, I've had a look at a few of these Air Jordan 1s, uh, sorry, Air Jordan 31s. I've had in hand the, the band black and red ones, the USA Olympic ones, and also um, the Brazil Olympic ones, and never really found any of them to be very um, aesthetically pleasing for me. And um, when I seen this colourway, I thought, oh, I'll give them a go, see what I think. And I actually really like this colourway. The everyone's going on about the. Um, the massive jump man here it doesn't look very good on most of the other colorways of this shoe but I actually think it looks okay with the orange and black um, when you're wearing them and you look down from a, a kind of top view that's what you see so you're you're not seeing the big color but these are um the orange on them is quite bold, but you can't see that when you're wearing them. Normally if you've worn a bold colour when you're walking with a shoe on, it flashes in your face and you see it, but with these you don't. Um, it's got the pods on the, the inside. I'm not going to go too in depth for this because everybody's seen these, but the, the colourway is nice. The, it's synthetic leather, it's not um, actual real leather, but it's... Um, it's still quite a decent quality and what I like about it when I tried them on I um, noticed that there was a boot on the inside that um, holds your foot so you could put the lace through there and tie it as tight as you like on the front so you would have this piece clamped in here like that and you still have these on the outside if you like so it doesn't look like it's tight around your foot but it actually is um, Comfort, they're a, because of the, the full length uh, zoom in the heel now and uh, um, the Air Jordan 29 and 30 had the, the front part but not the rear part now that it's got the full length it is a little bit more comfortable when you're walking around um, but still doesn't beat the Adidas Ultra Boost, I'm afraid. Um, I would wear the Ultra Boost all day. Can't wear these all day. So the the details on these, you've got uh, an embossed jump man on the tongue. You have the shutter backboard, which is the colourway on the rear of the tongue. You've got the big jump man there. You've got the gradient for the, the Nike swoosh that disappears into this synthetic leather orange. You've got the whole fly weave here. You've got the um, orange fly wire lace locks. And you've got the black fading to orange uh, lace aglets. 
on the inside you've got the Wings logo from the Jordan 1 all embossed in there, it's actually quite nice on the back there's a small I don't know if you can see that, a small 31 just there in Roman numerals um, you've got the pods inside which are quite comfortable actually, I don't know if you can see that, you've got all the soft pods that grip around your ankle and your Achilles in there and this is all soft um, jump man on the bottom and this is more of a ready pink than an orange it would have been good if they had matched the colour there and the translucent um, gum sole which is uh, it doesn't look that great in the pictures but actually in hand it looks quite nice and you've got the, the flight speed written here which must be their new flight plate that's all the, the detail of the shoe I can do it on foot and let you see what it looks like on foot but I really like these, they're just as comfortable as the 29s, I don't have any 30s past those because they were too much like the 29 and um, like I say I didn't like the um, I didn't like the 38 at all and I didn't like the other colourways of this but I'm glad I picked these up they're really quite nice I'm going to wear them all day today see what I think of them just casually and um, I know they're not going to be any ultra boost so I have to set my mind to, to not expect them to be that comfortable but if I compare them to the 29s then that should be fine let me know what you think. Um, I've got a few other shoes that I've picked up in the past few months that I haven't done a video. Um, mainly all Adidas. I've got um, the Crazy Explosive, the picked up three pairs, four pairs of Ultra Boost in different colourways. I've done the black one, I've not done the white one. I've got two pairs of white one and one Royal Blue and I've also picked up the Adidas Support EQT 93 16 which is the the, the Ultra Boost sole with the 93 um, EQT Support upper so if you want to see any of these just leave a comment and I'll, I'll try and get something uploaded as quickly as I can